We met of all places in front of Christides some freakishly cold winter's day. I had on several unflattering layers of wool. He slipped on the ice with his grocery bags full. So I rescued some Fruit Loops he dropped by the curb And he made some remark that my smile was superb I thought it was sweet and I started to go He said, hey, what you doing tomorrow? Because I'll be here on the corner of Bleecker and Mercer tomorrow at 7 if you want to meet up, I'll be waiting right here. And in case there are two fellas waiting for you, my name's John. He waved and then he was gone. Needless to say, I went back there to meet him mostly to see if he'd show and there he was out in the cold with his jacket pulled tight he took me to dinner and kissed me goodnight and the next week we went to this terrible play and the week after that drank hot chocolate all day and suddenly eight or nine months had flown by when he said hey what you doing the rest of your life because i'll be beside you as long as you want me to be there's no question there is nothing i wanted so much in my life that might sound immature but i'm totally sure you're the one and we had just begun we got hitched in september our favorite month with a rock band that played at this old synagogue and we got an apartment on West 17th Street and talked about children and getting a dog. Our first anniversary came in a flash and we promised to take the day off. You had to stop into this office that morning and so I went walking uptown to this bakery I know. When I heard on the street what I thought was a joke Till I heard all the sirens and saw the smoke So I'm running uptown with this feeling of dread To this voicemail he left With the last words he said I'm sorry, I don't mean to ruin your evening By bringing up all of this stuff you're probably wondering why I even called you tonight. Well, today something happened that spooked me all right. I saw this storm cloud of papers fall down from the sky. And I thought of that day and I started to cry. And I hear John in my ear saying, hey, you're allowed to move on. It's okay, because I'll be here, even if you decide to get rid of my favorite sweater, even if you go out on my birthday this year, instead of sitting at home letting all of life's moments pass by, you don't have to cry. back to the places we went to together when you take off my ring and you let yourself smile when you meet someone handsome and patient and true when he says that he wants to be married to you and you call him one night and he meets you downtown and you finally answer him yes I will marry you. I will give you my heart. It has taken so long, but I'm ready to start. Right now, John's whispering congrats in my ear as I finally let myself tell you that I will be here.